Welcome to Another Day with Jesus, a daily devotional and encouraging podcast from Pastor Bridgie. We are committed to bring you God's heart and help you to be intimate with Jesus. Greetings in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to this amazing day. This is a day when we will experience new things from God. This is a day when we want to experience His presence like never before. This is a day when we are willing to let our hunger for God soar, climb another level, climb another dimension, where we are refusing to be satisfied where we are. We want to know God more. We want to experience God better in this season ahead. My hope is that we will never be tired of asking God for an encounter. The more we ask, the more we will receive. And the more we receive, the more we need to yield to that encounter. The more we need to yield to that revelation. Sometimes the revelation will not be what we wanted. It will not come in the same fashion or the same way that it came for our friend or the other believer at church. It may not be the same thing that somebody in the Bible wrote about. But every time we receive a revelation, we become more like Him. So we need to yield ourselves to every encounter that God wants to give us. Let me read one particular example from 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 12. This is the encounter that David had. He says that God, He shrouded Himself, meaning He covered Himself in darkness, wailing his approach with dense rain clouds. So it is talking about a time when David had an encounter with God. And David says that God, when he came, he had covered himself. He had shrouded himself in darkness. And he was wailed with dense rain clouds. So when he came close, What I actually thought is that it's going to be a very rainy day. It's going to be a bad weather day. It's not going to be a good season ahead. That is what I thought. But what I didn't know is that it was God who had come, but he had covered himself in darkness. He had wailed his approach with dense rain clouds. How often would we dismiss some dark situations around us, some negative opinions around us, some negative you know, people around us and we would just push them out of our lives because we think, wait, how can God use a person like this? How can God ever use this particular circumstances? How can God ever make something great and good out of this issue? But in this season, we need the eyes like David had. We need the kind of perspective that God wants us to have from a heavenly vantage point so that we see the light behind the darkness, so that we see the presence of God behind the rainy clouds, so that we see more than what meets the eye. See, somebody that doesn't have spiritual intelligence is going to be scared at the sight of darkness, is going to you know, be running for help as soon as he sees dense rain clouds coming. But somebody who has a spiritual vision, he's going to stay put, he's going to be rooted, and he is going to yield himself to that encounter that God wants to give him in the midst of the darkness. That is why David wrote the psalm and he said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you're with me. You will comfort me even when I face death. We have to learn to discern the presence of God, the power of God, the voice of God, the wisdom of God, the grace of God in the midst of trying negative, dark circumstances. When God's presence is wailed in dense rain clouds, we need to learn to decipher and understand his presence within that dark rain cloud, behind that darkness, behind the cover, behind every disguise. We need to learn to find and locate the presence of God. 
child of God, that will be our victory. That will be our breakthrough point. That will be the place where everything that we have been uh, disconnected from, every blessing that we've been waiting for, every solution and answers for our problems that we've been waiting for, we will achieve, we will receive that when we are able to locate the presence of God, when we are able to locate that point of our encounter, even in the midst of dense rain clouds. For the uh, four guys, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, the Bible says that when they were in fire, Jesus came as the fourth man in that fire. He became the fourth person. Jesus revealed himself to them when they were in the fire. Not when they were praying, not when they were worshipping, not when they were fasting, not when they were in the palace, but when they went through the fire. So God has a way of revealing himself to you, especially in some hard and difficult days, some very trying and challenging circumstances. So if you're going through something like that in your life today, there is great hope for you. There is hope for an encounter with God's presence. There is hope for an experience of who God is. So do not give up. Continue to pray and ask, Lord, please reveal who you are, where you are. How can I experience your presence? How can I experience your power in the midst of the darkness that I'm faced with? in the midst of the depression that I am faced with, in the midst of the upsetting circumstances of my life, how can I experience your goodness? How can I experience your light? Give me the light. Give me the grace to see beyond what meets my natural eye. As you pray today, the Lord is going to open up your eyes and your vision to see things that you've never seen before, to experience things that you've never experienced before. Yield yourself to it and wait and watch what the Lord will deposit into your spirit in this season. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you and have a blessed day ahead. We hope that word bless you. Feel free to send us your thoughts and prayer requests as well as your queries on pastorpritchie.com. May you go wherever God's presence leads you today.